see, man, what's happening? This question. We haven't done this. As I'm making salt, so it's an AQA required practical making salt. Are you sure we haven't? Never done this. Right, shall we do this then? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. I'm Z. I'm T. And today, we're making salt. It's very important you understand what the equipment is all about. So what you've got is, firstly, you've got your two reactants that we're going to be using. T, what's that say? <laughs> say it again. So, T, what does that say? Sulfuric acid. Okay, so that's sulfuric acid. And the other thing that we're using is uh, copper oxide. These are two of our reactants that we're going to be using. And some of the apparatus we've got here is, we've got a beaker, we've got a stirring rod, we've got a spatula, and also we've got a measuring cylinder here. Okay, and then we're going to go to the various parts um, as and when we need to. Right, see, what we're going to do to start with is we're going to measure 25 centimeter cubed of sulfuric acid, please, using a measuring cylinder. Yep. No, you're going to contaminate it. So what you do is, rather than putting it back in there, you, you just, I'll give you another beaker and you can put it in. One rule remember, do not put anything back into that because you can contaminate it. Spot on, brilliant, well done. Okay, so that's just waste. So could you add that in there for me please? Okay, right, so what we're going to use now is we're going to use copper oxide in excess. Okay, the reason why we're going to use that is it's a neutralisation reaction. It, all the sulfuric acid should hopefully be used up in the reaction itself. So T, roughly about three spatulas of copper oxide in there, and then we're going to stir it. Okay, just three. Do I start from zero? If you want. <laughs> Two, one. Two, three. Right, leave that in there. Yeah, stir it. Okay, as he's stirring it, he's just mixing up the sulfuric acid with the copper oxide. Okay, um, and hopefully, see, as you're mixing it, once it's mixed, you might be able to see a tinge of blue. Okay, you might well be able to see a little tinge of blue. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing to start. Done? Yeah, I think that's pretty ready. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at that. And can you see that little bit of tableau you can see it too? Mm. Mm. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Okay. Right. So. Right, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna put this onto the heat. What does that do? Okay, so what's what's gonna go on there now is it's making sure the reaction is mixed properly. So you can look at kinetic theory here, so all the particles are moving around, bumping into each other, colliding, and it just speeds up the reaction. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply, remember, your safety rules as well. So yellow flame, safety flame, and then you move it into a blue flame. And while he's doing that, he's gonna be stirring it as well, just making sure the mixture is Okay, so he's doing that now. We're not going to do it for too long, probably about a minute, maybe 45 seconds to a minute. Just making sure the whole of the acid has been used up by the excess copper oxide. I think it's that should see us. Okay, wonderful. Now, as you see here, so you might be able to see a tinge of blue even better now. Yeah. Can you see that? Now? Still see it, yeah. Okay, you can probably see that a little bit better. Now what we're going to do with this now is we're going to actually use a conical flask and some filter paper and we're going to filter this out. Right, off you go. So pour that in there? Yes, yeah. pour that in there. Ah! What's that noise? Mm -hmm. What noise? Okay, she's just boring. Okay, right. This is your excess uh, copper oxide left over in the beaker. Okay, there we are. Just wait now. Fun times. 
It is. It's raining outside. But it's quite nice. Typical British weather. Rain. Nice. I like rain. I like rain. Plants need rain. This is quite cold. Yeah, I've got cool, cold. cool, cool rain. Love it. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, so that is. No, actually, you've got a bit left in there. Okay, I think we're done now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping we are. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> I can't bear the silence. No. <laughs> right, so that should be fine. Put that in there. Yep, that's fine. Right now, what do you think this is now? So what we had is we had sulfuric acid plus copper oxide. What do you think it's coming? What do you think this is? Uh, copper sulfate. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. Good guess. Super. Was that, was that a guess? Yeah. I thought you were science and spot on. You know okay. what can I say? Okay, right. So the next procedure now is this. So what we've done is we've mixed the mixture. We've filtered it. Okay, so we're going to move that out of the way. And now what we're going to do is using a evaporating basin, we're going to evaporate the water. Okay, and hopefully that should leave us with some crystals. Okay, copper sulfate crystals. Now, I'm gonna pour that in there and I'm gonna pass it over to T. So I'm gonna pour all that in there. Now, T, a couple of health and safety um, pointers here. When we add that on there and we put the flame underneath, we have to make sure that we don't heat it too quickly because what happens is the salt will spit at you and that could be quite dangerous. Okay, just a safety precaution. If you do get any in your hands, you need to go to the tap and just wash your hands down, okay? Um, and that's what we're doing at the moment. Okay, so let's go. Okay, again, blue, blue flame. Add that in there. And again, we're just, just um, waiting around. Okay, now you can't just make sure this, the actual uh, symbol equation for what we're actually doing at the moment. So sulfuric acid plus copper oxide, and then what we've got is copper sulfate plus water. And what we're doing is we get, we, we're evaporating the water, so that should leave us with copper sulfate crystals. Okay, so that's what we're currently doing at the moment. Turn it off, put it away, put it away. So as it's heating up, um, so it was starting to spit there, so you just remove the flame. Remove the flame? Remove. Turn down the flame. No, just move it away. Move it away. Move the, you know what, you know what I mean. Back on. Right, again, waiting. Can you see it? Is so it how, long, how long has this happened? So what we're going to do now is, we're not going to evaporate all of it. What we're going to do is, we're going to leave a little bit of water to evaporate overnight. Because if we do evaporate all of it, it'll just turn into just, it'll just like white salt. Okay, with a little tinge of blue in it. Okay, so we have to be very, we have to be vigilant. We have to, Vigilant. Yeah. Vigilant or vigilant? <laughs> okay. Whichever one. Okay, and that's it really. So we're just going to wait until, so we're just going to wait until the copper sulfate has lost most of its water, not all of it. Okay, and then we're going to leave it overnight. And then hopefully that should form some copper sulfate crystals. 24 hours later. Oh, it's already done. Oh. Right, ready. 24 hours up. Let's go check our crystals. Wow, look at that. Can you see the crystals oh, there? Yeah. Copper sulfate crystals there. 24, 24 hours later, yep. we have some copper sulfate crystals. Brilliant. Wonderful. Hey, oh. hi. I'm C. I'm Z. And we just made up for some figures. Yeah, that's <laughs> That didn't take much. Started. Who starts? Who starts? I'm Z. I'm T. We're making salts today.